As nothing can seemingly go right in today's society, I have a, a piece of good news to provide for you that made me smile when I first saw this story. So a Colorado governor has pardoned 1,351 people for minor marijuana crimes. This is quite amazing if I do say so myself. Uh, this is an article from The Hill that details the following. Colorado Governor Jared Polis, a Democrat, of course, announced on Thursday he has pardoned 1,351 people for minor marijuana possession crimes. Polis signed an executive order granting individuals pardons for their drug charges, also lifting three commutations and 15 other individual pardons for prisoners, according to a statement earlier this year. Polis signed into law a bill that allows state residents over the age of 21 to legally possess up to two ounces of marijuana. That law built on Amendment 64, which was legalized, which uh, was legalized marijuana and passed in 2012. And another bill uh, uh, authorizing the governor to grant pardons to defendants convicted of possessing up to two ounces of marijuana, according to the statement. Adults can legally possess marijuana in Colorado just as they can beer or wine, Polis said in the statement. It's just unfair that 1,351 additional Coloradans had um, permanent blemishes on their record that interfered with employment, credit, and gun ownership. But today we have fixed that by pardoning their possession of small amounts of marijuana that occurred during the failed prohibition era. Wow, that's absolutely amazing that he did that. Um, look, man, these are the type, this is the type of news, these are the type of stories that you honestly want to hear more about and that I honestly don't get tired of hearing about. You know, um, the type of progressive change um, to a given society, however small it may be in the grand scheme of things. Look, man, this is going to affect many people's lives. Many people's family members um, are going to have clear records because of this. And, um, you know, these societal trends that demonize a drug like marijuana, you know, you're starting to see different politicians and people that are in positions of power to make these kinds of decisions actually do it the right way, uh, the way in which benefits people that otherwise would get screwed by this corrupted system as we know it. So look, man, this is something that should be followed by every state in the country. It should. States around the country should look at this and go, oh, okay, well, let's pardon all the people that um, are non-violent drug offenders. Just generalize it. You know, I wouldn't even go as specific as um, he went here, people for minor marijuana crimes. No, anybody that's in jail for possession of marijuana that didn't commit any violent crime, let him go. And I, what brings to mind is Joe Biden. Joe Biden has the power right now to release, to pardon all non-violent drug offenders held at the federal level. He can do that. He can do that. He can effectively end the drug war. Uh, to the means in which the president has the power to do so. He can legalize marijuana. He can decriminalize um, drugs at the federal level. He can do it. He can, but he's not because he's a drug warrior. He's the author of the crime bill. I mean, look, you can look up old speeches that Joe Biden has given that, I mean, really tarnishes his record as if his record wasn't terrible already as it is. You know what I mean? But it does also bring into the conversation the subject of freedom, something that a lot of these people claim to champion, especially those on the right. Um, most of the time it's a lie, but let's talk about it for a second. So this is the land of the free, right? But we're not so free that we can put whatever kind of substances into, substances into our body that we would like and alter our <clears throat> um, state of being, alter our mind for however long we would like to. No, you don't have the freedom to do that. And if you do it, we're going to lock you away and throw away the key for however long we deem is necessary. That's the very definition of anti-freedom. And so, look, man, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Marijuana is still illegal at the federal level. There have been states around the country. Colorado, one of the most progressive uh, that's taken this big step forward. Oregon is another one. California, New York that are legalizing marijuana, not even decriminalizing it, just flat out legalizing it for recreational use. I mean, what happens when the majority of states, not even all of them, but the majority of states around the country has decided to legalize marijuana? Oregon is actually a state that I believe has effectively decriminalized all drugs. I think they've taken that step, you know, 
They've decriminalized psychedelics in the whole nine, which is absolutely amazing. But look, man, um, this is a good story. One that one that put a smile on my face, I thought was um, pretty good. And I want to talk about, especially when so much um, horrible things are going on. It's hard to uh, find light at the end of the tunnel. But this is a little caveat that uh, hopefully boosts your mood, if only just a little bit.